Hello! Hi guys, it's Inam Kafour here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Now I get a lot of questions on how to move media files like music, pictures and photographs and films over from your PC over to your Android device. Now I thought this was a given. I thought it's fairly simple to do so everyone must know how to do it but apparently not so I get so many of these comments it warrants a video. My apologies to you if you already know how to do this. This is for people who don't. First off you don't need anything out of the ordinary to do this. All you need is obviously your PC. In my case I'm going to be using a Windows 7 machine, your Android device itself and the micro USB cable that came with the device when we purchased it. Just to point out here your device does not need to be rooted in order to go through this process so you can do this with any Android device that's stock ROM out the box no modifications at all so let's get on with it we'll get the device connected to my computer using a cable that came with it so get that plugged in there and we'll move over to the computer as you can see auto play window has appeared stating it's detected my device being the GT hyphen n7100 being the Galaxy Note 2 I'm gonna click on open device to view files using Windows Explorer now obviously you can see here in the my computer or on the computer you can see there's my device if your device is not appearing here then this will not work so what you need to do is if your device isn't appearing in there unplug the device from your computer and plug it into a different USB port see if that does a trick if that doesn't do the trick then what I suggest you do is remove the drivers for your device from your computer and then download them fresh from the manufacturer's website so if you've got a Samsung device download them from the Samsung website obviously HTC device then from HTC's website obviously Motorola from Motorola's website and so on. hopefully once you've got the device drivers installed your computer will then recognize the device when you plug it in and when you click on your device you'll see a drive which says phone and gives you the capacity of the device click on this and you'll see a raft of folders within this drive which are the entire contents of your phone at the moment I don't have a micro SD card inserted into the phone so what you see on the screen in terms of all these folders this is the internal storage of the device so that 16 gigabyte on board that comes as standard along the right hand side of this folder is some media files this is what we're going to be moving across we're going to be moving across two pictures one music file and one video file so the pictures that we're going to be moving across is Android robots and a picture of Django it's going to be one music file from the Chris Brown Fame Deluxe album and the Gangster Squad movie trailer in the form of a video. So what we're going to do is, I'll do the pictures first of all, I'm just going to highlight those and then essentially right click copy and then what I'm going to do is go over to the folder here, right click on an empty space, do paste and there you can see it copies them in. I'm going to copy across the Gangster Squad trailer, so right click copy and then right click in the folder here and then paste and it will say do you want to convert it no I don't want to convert it because this phone can play mp4 files so I'm gonna say no just copy it that didn't take too long we're also gonna move across a mp3 file from Chris Brown's album so I'm gonna right click on one particular track copy it and then right click on an empty space within the phone drive here and then do paste that's the last of the media files copied across and you can see at the bottom of all the folders that's where they're placed. Now I'm going to show you just how easy it is because the phone automatically recognizes media formats so you don't have to put them in specific folders for them to work. You can just leave them on the root of the drive like I have here or if I wanted to I could organize them a little bit better. For example I could put the pictures in a new folder and call that folder I don't know just pictures. If I wanted to move the music file across there's already a folder on the phone called music which comes pre-populated. I could just move that in there. And if I go into the music one, incidentally, there's my 50 cent album. If we go back again, and finally the movie trailer file. If I wanted to be a bit more organized, I could put it in a folder on its own called movies or movie trailers or something like that. And the phone will automatically recognize it as well. But I just wanna show you for the purpose of this video, how easy it is. You don't have to organize them. You can just drag and drop them onto this phone device here and it will automatically pick them up. You don't have to do anything special at all. So I'm gonna X out of this now. We'll just get the computer disconnected from the device now. Mm -hmm. Now you notice I didn't reboot the device. That's because as the files are moved from the computer to the device itself, the phone automatically picks them up. It doesn't need to be rebooted in order to see the new files. So what we'll do is load up the gallery just to show you what it can see out the box. And as I say, we haven't done anything special at all here. So go to the gallery and they should be here somewhere here we go, there's one extra folder there. There we go, those are the media files. So you've got the two images there and the movie file there as well. So we'll go into the images first of all, that's a picture of Django. 
remember that on the PC, that was Homeview Swipe Across, here we go, that Android Robots as well, and those will come across, as we said, and then Swipe Across, this should be the Gangster Squad trailer, so we'll get that playing, see if that plays, and is working. Turn the volume up. I might an educated man. Others have so little. We're standing in the middle. Oh, it's ours. Mothers? No, ma'am. I was just hoping to take you to bed. I kill you if he finds out, you know. That's going to be a bad film. We've just come out of that. As you can see, that played fine. No issues there at all with the audio or video. Now, hang on a cotton pick a minute. I know what you're going to say. Where's a music file? You also moved over a music file and the gallery's not picking that up. That's because the gallery can only see and display thumbnails for images and movie files or video clips. So in order to see the music clip, what you need to do is load up a some sort of music player. So we'll come out of the gallery and we'll go into... What have I got here? My music player. And then it should pick it up. There we go. You can see there's my 50 set album that you could see on my PC. All the music tracks there. And if I go back one, you can see there's a thumbnail for Fame, Chris Brown. Now remember, I only moved over the one track, not the entire album. So if I go into it, there you go. Just the one track. And if I play it, there we go. You can see that started playing. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward it a little bit. stop that there you can see that's playing okay so the images came across okay the video came across okay and that was playing fine as well audio and video on that video clip and this music file from the album came across brilliantly as well now if you don't want to go into any particular application but you want to see where the files are kept just load up your file browser now you can use the standard one that comes on these devices which is called my files on the galaxy note 2 or you can download a third party one which is for free called es file explorer which you can get from the android play store but in this case, in this example, I'm going to use the stock one which came on the device which is called My Files. So we'll just tap on that. Now you can see the My Files browser displays the content in various categories. You've got absolutely everything, no sorting at all. You've got the images, videos, music and documents. Now the content that we've just put on the device will not appear under images, videos or music because we didn't sort it into any of those folders. We just placed it onto the root of the drive of the phone. So the only place it is going to show up any of those files is going to be under the top one, All Files. So if I tap into that, and it displays the SD card zero folder there. Now we didn't have any micro SD card in there, but that's what the phone's internal storage is called. So we'll just tap on that, and there you go. You can see there's a music track, yeah, the Gangster Squad trailer video clip, and the two image files there. Similarly, if you wanted to move the files across onto an external micro SD card, which was plugged into the back of the device, all you would do is when you've got your phone connected up to your computer, under the phone option, there'd be another option there for external SD card. You move the files across in exactly the same manner and then once you've done disconnect the phone and the files will then appear under the micro SD card banner on the phone and by that I mean if we go back one here you can see SD card zero if I had a micro SD card plugged in underneath that you would see external SD card and all you would do is tap into it as I've done here and the files would appear and that's how easily you can move across images photos music and even video files to your Android device you just gotta make sure your phone is compatible to play those files any questions or comments you guys have got hit them up down in the comment section down below there give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw if you haven't already done so hit subscribe it's also down there as well it doesn't cost you anything and it's totally free and you can check out some of our forthcoming videos Thanks for watching, have a wicked day, and we'll see you next time.